Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing well and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Today we're going to be continuing on again with our VGC Series 9 content, playing a Dragapult Mimikyu in Glastria team. We've got a supporting cast of Rotom, Incineroar and Rillaboom, making up a nice four Firewater Grass Core in the team. Um, and we've got really good options offensively on both ends of the spectrum. The Dragapult, one of the fastest Pokemon in the format, obviously with that clear body ability as well going to be able to avoid things like electro web that would be problematic for other pokemon coming off something like regieleki uh, that has that speed control option there and then glastria on the other end of the spectrum from the trick room perspective that mimikyu can set up as well and it kind of performs that really good pivoting role to not only provide taunt support for things in the team to shut down opposing trick room if it's not preferable for us and it helps set up trick room for glastria and also proc that weakness policy on dragapult as well so it's got kind of like a jack of all trades almost in this team uh, really nice options here we've already mentioned the firewater grass core with the rot and we've got the electric coverage there the rillaboom and the incinero provide fake out uh, pivots as well and uh, obviously the the uh, the rillaboom provides that uh, priority support with that grassy glide in the grassy terrain as well as terrain support so we've got all sorts going on in the team today it is a bit more serious compared to our buzzwall one yesterday as fun as that was but it's sometimes nice to get into a bit more of a serious team now and again on the channel so hopefully you enjoyed today's episode the poker post is down in the description we'll have a couple of games with the team now talk it through have some good matches hopefully and then we'll finish up with the rental code as always so hopefully you enjoy it leave your comments down below let me know your thoughts on this team initially and obviously leave your comments let me know your team after you've seen the battles today hopefully they are good ones but without further ado friends let's get into our first match of today's episode okay first up today we got mike playing a team of thunderous urshifu garchomp togekiss kartana and Incineroar so very solid looking team got that nice combination between the Thunderous and the Urshifu you've got to imagine it is the single strike variant there and uh, they pair up extremely well together and cover each other's weaknesses pretty well uh, you've got uh, speed control options in the team from Airstream from the Thunderous you got Airstream from the Togekiss as well and then potentially Airstream from the Cartana outside of that though you kind of lack luster options so they're the main ones so you're looking at probably something like Cartana Thunderous or the Togekiss being your max option there but depends on the Togekiss set as well because it has got that redirection and follow me has options to yawn as well so it can be quite a versatile Pokemon it probably performs in this team is more of a support option though for the things that we are seeing but can't underestimate its ability to uh to do some big damage nonetheless now what option do we want to go do we want to go down a trick room route because a trick room route for us can be quite useful um although we could start off with mimikyu dragapult and just start to try and kind of nuke things but you've got to worry about the urshifu in that situation so maybe mimikyu here can do a decent job with something like I don't think really boom because I think the the, the flying threats cause us too many issues. Um, maybe Glastria in the back, and then let's finish up with yeah. Let's go Dragapult as our last one. It is a little bit risky, of course, because uh, of things like Urshifu that can stick around and be definitely a late game Pokemon. Uh, Dragapult not one of those Pokemon that you kind of want to bring in in those situations where Urshifu's there. So we've got to keep that in mind and and try and kind of. Um, bait out the Urshifu if uh, if we are in a situation where we could suspect this in the back for a late game play uh, from my opponent but uh, you can see here they are going to lead off with the Thunderous and the Togekiss now leading Incinero here is not ideal at all um, just for the fact that we are going to proc the Defiant ability on the Thunderous but the one thing that we do have going for us is that the, uh, the Mimikyu can set up a pretty seamless um, Trick Room here so we can go for the trick room uh, and the u-turn's not a bad play it's probably better than parting shot in this situation um and then we get the glass in for kind of for free almost um unless it is a taunting <laughs> prankster i didn't even notice but this is where the mental herb comes into play and really helps us out i should have noticed from uh the um the lack of uh the lack of pri uh, defiant um activation there but now i know now i know new turn and obviously we haven't got parting shot on this instant roll because we do have the assault vest and i think the assault vest and the more offensive variant kind of fits in with the team a little bit better um but like i say we're going to be able to get the trick room up quite nicely now with that mental herb on the mimikyu it's quite a nice option for it because of situations like this it's quite a lot of taunt in the format 
um, and it just allows you to kind of get your trick room up in glass room now in a, in a phenomenal spot where it can start really throwing out a lot of uh, damage now you've got to look at my opponent's team what have they got in the back to bring in uh, they got the incineral incineral is probably most likely to pop its head up uh, and come onto the field right now um, maybe oh, it's gonna stay in maybe the well the thunderous is more likely to kind of switch out really here could we maybe pull incineral back in for ourselves and then go max hillstorm into i'm not really worried about the thunderous you know i kind of want to go after the toga kiss more than anything because i think the toga kiss could have things like yawn which could be really really awkward to play around and this is where we maybe overstepping the line a little bit too early with maxing here especially if we do see the incineral come in and then a yawn from that toga kiss into our glastria it makes it difficult to kind of build momentum from that point knowing that you're going to be put to sleep the next turn and no, us not having a way to um be able to kind of uh, deny that with a terrain of our own like electric or, or the misty terrain so we'll see how it plays out hmm be so much free you know without the defiant on the thunderous to just m move incineral around a lot more here i don't know what the, th the thunderous are going to do here togek is going for that protect which is fine taunt coming out from the thunderous doesn't affect the incineral trying to shut down the mimikyu i guess um but we'll get some decent damage into the togek here i mean decent that's insane damage really behind the protect you know i didn't expect it to quite do as much but it has done which is ideal. Okay. Um, is that a weak? No. What is that? Weakness policy. Oh. Now it makes it difficult for my opponent to utilize the Togekiss. Uh, weakness policy Togekiss, not something you see generally too often either. Um, but we can just go for. Uh, do we just Darkest Lariat or Flare Blitz? Or U turn again. I think we could just U turn into the Thunderous here and just go for another. Yeah, because it's likely if the, 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 the Incineral comes in, it comes in now for that Thunderous, I think. Just to get the Intimidate. And then you max Togekiss to try and take the Max Hailstorm with the uh, the minus one. And then go from there. And then try and get an attack off into Glastria. But I still don't think, because we've got the Life Orb on it, it's going to be enough. You're going to see an Eerie Impulse. It's probably the only option on the Thunderous at the moment. My opponent not wanting to max though, which makes sense. You don't want to waste that if you can uh, help it. And uh, we are going to be able to take the Togekiss down and make pretty quick work of that. Get that chilling Nair boost, which is always good for that momentum sw shift. Shift, that's the word that we're looking for as we get a U-turn out into the tor The Thunderous, not the Tornadus. Come on, put the brain on. Um, and I think Mimikyu's a nice option because then we've just got the, the switch back to... And Cinero if we need it. We don't need to reveal that we've got Dragapult just yet. Um, and like I say, the, the Thunder is not really posing too many problems for the team at the moment. Like anything on our side of the field, especially like if we bring Incineral back in, we've got the Assault Vest there. We're not worried about Thunderbolt, which is potentially its only attack. Um, and in, Intimidate is going to be useful to kind of utilize again onto whatever comes in now for my opponent so we'll see what they do bring onto the field but this is where you're in that that position with glass and it makes it so threatening you know especially if your opponent thinks they've got a way to shut down the trick room but they really haven't and then urshifu coming onto the field we've got the option to well we could just shadow sneak and just max knuckle into that slot um how many turns of trick room we got we need to keep an eye on that we got two so we're, we're sitting in a good spot and we could play rough as well. But I think... Uh, no, nah, I think we play rough. And we max knuckle. Yeah. And they may taunt Mimikyu here and protect. Which is fine. We'll get the attack boost regardless if they do protect or not. Ooh. But they are maxing. They're maxing the Urshifu. Hmm. <laughs> which is... A good play. Ooh, it's a water one. Rapid strike. Okay, didn't see, didn't see the old rapid strike coming out, but we are going to see it. So the player ref is still going to do a bunch of damage to it. 
unless it max guards of course gets around at that turn and there's the taunt cheeky old taunt hmm but dragapult a great a great position here to utilize its uh, its weakness policy if you want not worried about the uh, the rapid strike Urshifu as much as we would be the other one um so it might be worth yeah, close combat's definitely a better option. Might be worth bringing Incineroar in. We might be sacking Incineroar, but it kind of sets us up for out of the trick room and just get rid of this Thunderous while we've got the opportunity to um, and ignore the Urshifu for a moment. It's going to go Max Knuckle, I think, into Glastria, but then we can just negate the attack boost at least for one turn with with Incineroar. It's unlikely that it goes Max Knuckle into the Mimikyu, of course, being the ghost type there. Um, but it may go for its big Max Water move, which we may see. You never knew. So, ooh, Thunder is finally leaving the field. What comes in for it? Garchomp. Oh, that's like the worst Pokemon to come in. Four times weak to ice. Glastria having a field day. Gonna chuck this out. Get another chilling near boost. Pop, 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 pop. There we go. Like to see it. Poor Garchomp. Love Garchomp as well, but I don't like playing against it too much. So nice that we were able to uh, to pick up the knockout there, which is good. And Max Knuckle coming out as we suspected. Still doing a hefty old amount to uh, to Glastria though. Getting that attack boost. And now a trick room's ended. And Glastria in a uh, not the best position, let's say. But we do have Fake Out to kind of stop. I think you go after you have to go after Glastria here, you have to. I think it could give us room to maybe parting shot. Oh, we can't parting shot, of course. <laughs> Uh, do we just do we just double up into Thunderous here I think I think we just double into Thunderous and hope that either one can take the Thunderous down yeah yeah they're gonna go after the Glastria so we've got to hope that Incineroar Flare Blitz with the residual hail damage is enough to get the Thunderous which it should be it depends on the item of the Thunderous though of course and now the Urshifu plus two makes it a little more tricky. But if we can do this, this would be great. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now the hill's stopping. Um, okay. Hmm. Okay, I think we bring in Dragapult. And I think we're kind of we're kind of alright at this point, to be honest. They are plus two though, so that does worry me slightly. Of course. Of course it worries me slightly. But I think we should be alright. Because we can U turn out and then Do we just dragon darts at this point? Because mm. we could Phantom Force as well, but I kind of want to. Mm. Now we're probably better off Phantom Forcing. Yeah, let's just Phantom Force. Because they probably got, they got after the Incineroar anyway. This is the only reason why I'm thinking like you may. Yeah, you may be better just going Dragon Darts at this point. Yeah, and that's fine. Well, it's going to be tight, I think. It's going to be tight. But we should be able to close this one up. But Urshifu, it, it's surprisingly strong. I don't know why you're protecting there. You can't protect through Phantom Force. And now you're giving us the option to Shadow Sneak ourselves and Dragon Darts and just win the game. Oh, just, yeah, the, the play rough. I forget that we clicked play rough there as well. So, very good game to my opponent. 
um, and we do manage to uh, pick up a nice victory there which is always good for us to kick off with today but Urshifu like I was saying uh, it it's very kind of like you don't expect it to be that good when it when it maxes but it is it is quite deceivingly good uh, as a max Pokemon um, and I think my opponent really showed it there, bringing that match right back and very close at the end. So very good game to my opponent. And uh, with that, friends, we will jump into our next match of the episode. Okay, up next, we have a Venusaur, Porygon 2, Tokol, Urshifu, Charizard, and Whimsicott. So pretty heavy Sun Team here with a Trick Room Switch, obviously with the P2 there to either set up the Tokol for a late game uh, or a Trick Room mod or just reverse the Trick Room and kind of keep the, the speed uh, control in uh, my opponent's side of the field. Um, Mimikyu, Dragapult, not bad here. Um, it's just the Urshifu that really does worry me more than anything, but I do like the lead. Uh, I think the other option would be obviously Dragapult and Cinerol. Um It would get around the fact that my opponent could potentially put the Dragapult to sleep turn one, which would be pretty bad. Um, but we can protect and taunt it. I guess that's that's the other option. Uh, I think we need Incineroar and then as a um, last member of our team, probably mm, Rillaboom, not so good. Uh, but all things considered, I'm kind of thinking that we've got ways to deal with most stuff except the Urshifu potentially, where the Rillaboom could come in quite useful against, against, the, um, against the Urshifu, just with the priority just to being able to be like that that little bit of speed to just give us the jump on it get rid of it if we need to in a really tight situation so we'll see how it pans out but obviously Rillaboom not one of the best Pokemon to bring against the Sun team most of the time okay Charizard Whimsicott this isn't the worst like in all honesty This really isn't the worst. Because um, I think, yeah, we just Shadow Sneak. And just nuke. Nuke. I mean, we could Airstream. But Phantasm is very tempting. Just they're going to Tailwind anyway, so they're going to be getting the jump on us. We're not max speed Dragapult, so... I think Phantasm is probably the best option. Let's see what they do. My opponent's kind of locked into options here. They've got a Tailwind, really. They can't go for the Sunny Day initially here. Um, and then we've always got the option the next turn to potentially protect Tailwind if we want. Uh, protect and Trick Room if we want. Or Max Garden Trick Room, I should say. So we'll see how it goes. But obviously, got to watch out for the Tall Call if we do go down that route. We are going to see the Charizard Max. And sorry if I keep popping my head off. Uh, we run a bot over on our Discord server and it seems to be playing up at the minute, so I am trying to just sort it out. Okay. Charizard G Max. Such a cool Pokemon. It is one of my favourite G Max Pokemon, I think, of Sword and Shield. It does look so badass, doesn't it? Switcheroo! How dare you? What are you doing with me? What are you taking? What are you taking? Eject button. Okay, mental hip. That's fine. That's fine. He went for the wrong one. <laughs> so you get the mental herb we get the eject button that's super fine I don't mind that let's see how much damage this does not quite enough but it's a good amount it's a good amount it is a good amount are they gonna go after where are they going then I wonder where they they choose to go after airstream into Mimi just break that disguise which is fine because then we just get the eject button out of here which is good because we'll be able to get Incineroar in next and just go for an airstream ourselves I think it like fake out airstream into the, the Whimsicott but that might force a switch out it could potentially but this works out alright like the eject button onto the Dragapult would have been the worst case scenario here I hate eject button Whimsicott Hit eject button anything, eject button switcheroo anything, prankster. It's just, yeah, the bane, the bane of my life. Okay, we'll fake out. It's pretty obvious, but I don't think there's too much harm in 
Hmm. They go for an airstream again. But I mean, we need to stop the Whimsicott getting a Tailwind up. We need to stop it getting Sunny Day up. Uh, and anything comes in is going to take a plus two airstream anyway. So it's not the worst thing in the world. And the Charizard at this point is kind of forced to not go for the G-Max Wildfire and go for another airstream to kind of keep pace with what we're doing. So um, I have no problem going for this attack. Whimsicott could switch out. There's no doubt. And we could see something like Torkoal come in. It's a complete possibility here, but hopefully it doesn't pull Protect out. No, it switches. Okay. Always feels wasteful when you do this. You know the fake out here, and you think, oh, I could have just got a, I could have just got a parting shot. I know we don't have parting shot, but just for for the sake of it, you know, it does feel sometimes like I could have had made more use out of something else here. The solar power is going to be enough with the life orb recall to get the Charizard here anyway, so it's it's kind of fine. Um, but we do need to worry. Oh, it probably isn't, is it? The solar power probably just it probably just hangs on. But I mean, the Dragapult going to be faster than the Charizard this next turn. Um, and Incineroar. Yeah, we have to go. We have to go after the. Um, we have to go after the talk. Uh, to go after where are we going where are we going where are we going as you turn out onto the talk hall let's just check before we do because we don't want to no 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 we don't want to u-turn out we've got no good switch ins let's just go flare blitz into the talk hall and let's go for a max phantasm so we do a bit more to that talk hall with the flare blitz and hopefully that kind of pushes it over the edge to be enough so we should be able to take down the Charizard and potentially the Torkoal here. Anything switching in on that Torkoal slot will take a bunch of damage anyway. We know the Whimsicott's in the back. It's going to be hit for horrible damage. Horrible amounts of damage. Whatever happens. Yeah. And uh, we know it's not Sashed either, so we are going to be able to pick up the knockout there, which is always useful. Because that's switcheroo. But... I hope the recoil damage isn't enough to take Incineroar down. I'm hoping it's just enough to proc a berry. Let's see. What's our health like? Okay, when we down. Yeah, we're alright. It's a bit annoying. We're like 2 HP off our berry proccing, which is always a little bit frustrating, but nothing we can do about it. But hey, look. Look. Weakness policy, Dragapult still doing work. Series 9, what do you have thought? Uh, and Urshifu. <sighs> okay, there we go. There he is. There he is. Um. <sighs> Ay, the dark. The dark fire. So. Let's just go Flare Blitz into Urshifu not really got the switches okay we need to actually go after talk uh, call I need to go after talk call here I mean we could protect here we could just protect because I don't think they wicked blow I think they have to suck a punch or we could just let let's dragon darts let's dragon darts because they may wicked blow think we're gonna protect or switch out suck a punch that's fine go down yeah Just need to get a, as much damage onto this as as possible. Yeah, and now that should be in Rillaboom range. Yeah, that's fine. So we've got Rillaboom to come in and mimic you. Well, Rillaboom can deal with both the uh, the Torkoal. Well, I think we'll be fine. Uh, mm. Will we be fine though? <laughs> you know, I think we really need to we need to high horsepower the uh, the Torkoal here, and then we need to just play rough the Urshifu. I'm not too worried about the Urshifu. I don't think it's gonna it's not gonna be able to knock out Rillaboom in one hit, and that's the big thing. So a high horsepower, and we will go for a play rough 
And hopefully that is enough and locks up this game for us. Ursha food protecting, which is fine. Just need this high horsepower to connect. Ooh, the protect coming out. We want to get a little bit of health back. Okay, well, that's all right. Play rough. I don't think the health that they're going to regain is going to be enough. The residual damage from the GMAX wildfire though is not ideal. I've got to say. But because the airship is not banded, we're still not too worried. And like, yeah, the thing is if they go after the airship uh they go after the Rillaboom, they're leaving the Mimikyu alone, then they just go down to a player rough anyway. So it's it's kind of it's difficult. I think the thing that they're relying on here is a high horsepower missing on the Torkoal, which is a long shot, you know. Wicked Blow coming out, should take down the Mimikyu. Yeah. High Horsepower does connect. Is enough. Okay, and now just two Grassy Glides. We're on the home straight. Sun Fades, no more GMAX Wildfire, which is useful. Uh, and just healing all around and two grassy glad should do it. I don't uh, I might be able to take hmm Might be able to take one grassy glide maybe Maybe I don't know if a grassy glide is gonna be enough to get it come on it should be it should be Oh, It's tight cuz Urshifu is so like so good on its defensive side. It's quite deceiving at times Urshifu, I've mentioned, I don't know, you know, Urshifu is just deceivingly good. It's not deceivingly good, it's just generally a, an amazing Pokemon. But, there we go, okay. So that, that, that little convo we had at the very start in Team Preview, why I brought the Rillaboom, paid off and came to fruition. There we go. It's always worth, it's always worthwhile when that sort of thing happens. Very good game to my opponent, but Rillaboom picking up the win like we thought it might at the beginning of the game so not often that happens but when it does it's always nice when it pays off so hopefully there's some use in there for you and uh, it's been entertaining that's the most that's the most important thing and uh, we'll jump over now friends and uh, we'll get the rental code for today's team okay friends here is today's rental team i hope you've enjoyed today's episode and more importantly i hope if you do try the team out you have a lot of fun with it and you have a lot of success with it and enjoy the team because i think it's a really good one it's got nice uh, options both sides of the spectrum like we've said with the Mimikyu there being able to set up the dragapult with that shadow sneak or set up the trick room for that glass tray. and we've seen both sides of that in today's episode which is you know i couldn't really ask for very much more than that and i think the team in general performs very well the only thing that you could say maybe you could swap around if you wanted to would maybe be salt vest onto rillaboom and then maybe just a, a super berry onto incineroar and then provide that parting shot on there instead of the u-turn and the assault vest because uh, we didn't really see too much of the offensive incineroar or the assault vest coming to play that much today whereas the parting shot we mentioned a couple of times could have been quite useful in a couple of situations so that is food for thought something to think about but um like i say hope you try the team out and uh, if you do i hope you enjoy it leave your comments down below as always if you do and uh, we'll wrap things up there thank you so much for tuning in as always friends have a great rest of your day make sure you're taking care of yourselves and i'll see you all for another episode very soon so until then take care and bye bye